a menos que da tiempo para las preguntas. So, we don't have much time for our questions. We've been set of very interesting questions, but I will try and summarize. First, Ana Gutierrez has had to stand in for our colleague who's had to leave us. And generally, what we've been asked is whether we use this recycle so little because we don't know what happens to what we throw away. So it's a question really that's uh, open to everyone here present. Well, I think that one of the reasons that people are so little committed to recycling in the correct bins is a lack of awareness of what happens to what they throw away. But we, we stakeholders, are very much involved in recycling and correct recycling, and we try to educate citizens on how to recycle properly with various, varying degrees of success. We have recycling figures for recent years, and these show that people are becoming progressively more aware on the use the final end purpose of what they're throwing away in the recycling bins. I think I think education there has to be far more education we need to tell people every inhabitant of the planet should go to a landfill to find out exactly what it means, the meaning of sorting your waste. Because here, you might just dump a bag of rubbish and you've no idea what happens to it from there. You don't know what that costs. You don't know the impact it has. You don't know what that means. You don't realize all of the underlying process. I know because I form part of this sector, but a lot of people really don't know anything about it. And moreover, we can create value from this, as I said before. We tip rubbish, and consumers and inhabitants don't sort their waste properly. And that is a serious problem, because they don't realize the damage that they're causing to the environment. We're losing resources. And also, land is limited. And we have to make the most of the land that we have. The circular economy has to be rolled out as soon as possible. And if we have to spend millions on education, uh, and instead of putting an ad on the television, you say, if you do this, this will happen. Otherwise, this is what the planet's going to end up like. We need to show people this so that people really become aware that sorting and recycling is an, a pressing need. It's not so, well, I just dump the bag and see what happens. We need to show what we do with this recycled material, with the tires they use to make roads, paper is used, is recycled into paper again. They need to know that the clothing that they throw away can be used for rags. People need to know and discover how these processes work. This will raise awareness. That's my opinion of what we should do. Mm, I basically agree with what Raquel said. Mm, it's certainly true that we have bombarded people with information. Some people are becoming more aware. This is true. Mm, but people see waste in their homes as a problem that they want to do away with as soon as possible because waste ends up smelling bad. And there is a certain level of awareness, okay, I'll sort it correctly, but we of us who work in waste collection, uh, we think that people think basically that there's a magical wand that's waved as soon as they put their waste in the bins, but it's not that way. So I think that, I concur with Raquel, I think that we need to explain and educate people on the real cost, on what's going to happen, and what the repercussions of recycling badly or 
properly and what are the environmental, financial and social repercussions? There are two different aspects to this, information and education. Education is very tied to raising awareness and I think there's a lot that remains to be do there. And with regard to awareness, it's also a process, it's something that we need to ramp up and work on. But it's also true that there has been a gradual generational change where people are more and more aware. If they don't know what waste is done or if they're not clear about it, I think it's important to tell them. But I don't think that awareness in general is going to change very much because people trust that when they make the effort of uh, recycling, they're going to assume that everything is going to go well. So I think that awareness is important. We did some work in 2014 with the population of what happens of whether they would recycle or didn't and we realized there were people who were highly aware then did recycle but when they went on holiday they stopped recycling and this was an information problem because they were aware but they didn't have information on how recycling also took place uh, their ho their tourist destinations Jorge was talking about all the efforts that have been made to provide more access more information I think this is important but I think this is too complementary approaches but different in how we get information across to people. I fully agree with what the others have said and I think that there is a limit to awareness and education and people's will to recycle. So I think that needs to be more. We need some kind of financial instrument so that it doesn't cost the same for people to do it poorly to, than to do it properly. So we, we do need to continue to educate but I think we need some kind of financial instrument to make it effective. For example, this cup mm, if we're at a concert or an event, we see it as a resource. But we're not going to throw it away in the plastic deposit, even if we have been informed and educated. That's basically the plain reality. So how am I going to make a resource out of packaging? We need information, we need training, we need children, adults and tourists, because they see a cup and if they know that it actually is worth something financially then they will return it to us. That's purely simply how it should work. Now the only system that we have for reuse is depositing in containers and we also need awareness raising, we also need training because you have this container and what it was done in the past is that container was purchased and then was returned. But really, it's the same with an, a pay-as-you-throw initiative, with landfill taxing. We need some kind of financial imposition. People need to understand that if we are going to start pulling money out of their pockets, then something will happen. We need to change things because we need people to understand that if they recycle well then they will be rewarded. Those who recycle badly will be sanctioned in some way. Now I go out in the street and take photos of all the different recycling containers, a can of coke, a bottle of water, a can of beer and what we see is that people need to have some kind of environmental awareness. They need to know what's going on around them if they're going to find the right container to throw this away. But if they know that it is really a resource with value to it, then they will think about how they're going to get rid of it at the end of the day. So we need awareness raising, we need education, but at the same time we need some kind of financial reward so that people understand better the issues at stake. 
I'm sorry about the, the rest of the speakers, but we really do have to close this panel discussion here. I'd like to thank all of you, and I would like to apologize for not being able to put the questions, but I'm, I think the speakers are going to do it over Twitter. So we now have a one-hour lunch break, which should have started an hour ago.